Welcome to yoga. Good to be back. I'm going to pin my video and we're going to start standing. Join us in mountain. Adjust my camera. Good. All right. Feeling a little sore today. I don't know about you guys, but just walking and sitting, walking and sitting really does its toll on the old hips. So why don't we just give a little gentle kind of pound <laughs> to the pelvis. I'm kind of getting my lower back and the side. And actually, why don't we just give a nice little tap just to kind of invigorate the body. Little nice gentle taps all the way down. Maybe, ooh, gentle, gentle little taps. And then all the way up to the top of the head just to get that stimulation. Good. Let's stand in mountain. So the feet are to, together. The toes are touching and the heels are slightly apart. Palms are forward. Abs are engaged, belly is lifted, booty is dropped, shoulders are back. And we're gonna go ahead and just close our eyes. We're gonna start with just centering ourselves, bringing ourselves to our body. Noticing our breath, noticing our posture what feels imbalanced and what feels maybe a little locked and just exhaling into any places that feel they need to be released. We're gonna take some deep breaths in through the nose, then out through the nose. Lengthening that breath each time. Seeing if you can get it a little bit longer, like maybe a three or four count breath in. And a three or four count breath out. And one more time. Good. Let's open up our eyes and swing our arms up. I'm, you can't really see me, but I'm pointing my fingers towards the ceiling. And I'm just lengthening, lengthening, lengthening through the torso, but dropping the scapulas down the back, rooting the feet into the floor, finding that incredible elasticity that we have in our spine to grow, 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 grow. And then we're gonna exhale and just push the hips to the right and look under the right armpit. Try not to scrunch, lift and stretch and then recover, lift and stretch to the other side. And lift and recover and then a little arch pushing the pelvis forward. Don't go too far because we're just getting started here. Little arch. And then we're going to come down just to our hands on our knees. We're going to do a little wag here of the hips. And you can just kind of fall into your shoulders and then you can press out of the shoulders and lengthen that spine and then maybe fall at the head, kind of sink down and then press. Try not to arch the back. So yeah, you're really supporting your spine with your core. And like a turtle, we're just kind of sinking our head in and then we're pushing out. 
Good. Come back up, take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers and send the hands down to the ground. Open up your chest, look up, breathe. And unclasp the hands and take them in front of you. Interlace the fingers. Send the palms to the computer. <laughs> and we're going to bend the knees over the toes. Knees are directly over the toes. We're pulling the lower back behind us, letting the chin drop to the chin, ch chest. And then just pull the right hip back and then the left hip. And you just kind of play here, alternating with your hips, pulling one back and then the other, really getting that lower back stretch. And then coming back to the center when you're ready, we're going to inhale, swing the arms behind us, touch the fingers together, look up, exhale, contract back to that position, palms towards the computer, knees bent. Inhale, straighten the legs. Touch those fingertips behind you. Exhale, tuck that pelvis, pull the hips back, drop the chin, and come into that curve. Just continue this like three more times on your own time. Inhale and exhale. Ooh, I'm already hot. Open this. Good. Let's just pause in the center again. Let's lift that right arm up and just reach the left fingertips down. So we're actually getting a little curve. Yeah, and switch. Just that rib cage is really kind of curving. You're keeping everything else very lifted the pelvis is lifted like you have a little girdle on just getting that rib cage to kind of move side to side good let's take the shoulders around and forward a couple times don't lock those knees nice soft little bend in the knees just kind of bring ourselves to our bodies right now good and reverse this should feel nice and massagey Couple more. Good, and we're gonna just take those arms forward, kissing the elbows, inhale, kissing the elbows together, not actually kissing them. Opening and exhaling and scraping those arms down like a W, bringing them forward, kissing the elbows together. Inhale, open, and then scrape that back wall with a W, dropping the elbows a couple more times. Try the reverse, back up through the W. Oh, that feels different. And then forward, oh yeah, try to keep those elbows as far away from your body as possible when you bring them forward. And then really try to keep them together for as long as possible. A couple more. Inhale as you take the arms up. Big deep inhale, exhale as you take the arms down. Beautiful. Let's take the head to the right, placing the right hand on the top of the head. Flex the left palm. That's going to help you just drop. I want to keep lifting in the belly. Yeah. Nice lift in the belly. Breathe. See if you can rotate that left shoulder back just a little bit. And now maybe drop the chin forward on the diagonal. Ah, good. Other side. Left ear to left shoulder, right palm flexed. Everything is lifted still. 
Yeah, find that um, corset. Yeah, so we're not letting the chest sway out. We've got that corset on, it keeps the chest nicely tucked. And we're just letting the weight of the hand give us a little extra stretch here in the neck. Rotate that right shoulder back slightly down and back. And then just bring that chin forward on the diagonal, slightly forward. Good. Awesome. Let's come out to, peer, uh, to goddess pose. So we're just gonna hang out here in goddess pose for a minute. So our, knee, our toes are out, our knees are over our toes. You don't want them rolling forward. You wanna be on your whole foot. <sighs> All right, right here in goddess pose, we're gonna right away engage that core. Pelvis is dropping between both knees. All we're gonna do is tilt to the right, touching that right elbow to the left, right hip, and then left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, stretch out, let's come into a star. Let's just give those hips a break, maybe shake them out. Ooh, I got a little pop there, good. Ooh. And we're gonna come back down. Good, let's sink a little lower this time. See if you can drop that pelvis just a little lower. We're gonna take the arms up and do the same thing. But this time we have to go a little farther to tap that elbow. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, and come up, good, good, good. Let's just right here, just rise up on our toes. Feel that expansive shape that we can create, that big wide X, good, and release. All right, let's come to the edge of our mat and just do a nice little chair pose. So we're gonna hang out in the chair just for a bit. <sighs> Knees are over our toes. We've got that nice long diagonal spine. Our arms are up by our ears. Our focus is about mm, four feet in front of us on the floor. Breathe here. Good. Let's lift that right leg off the floor and bring the thigh to the chest. Hold, inhale, exhale. We're gonna inhale as we drop the leg and tap the toe. Exhale as we bring it up. Five times. Good, press the feet into the floor. Good, come to mountain. Shake it out. You just do a couple little arm swings here. Same thing. One more time, back to chair. Imagine that your core is holding your spine on that diagonal. Hold chair, breathe. Get those arms up by your ears. Lift the left thigh to the chest, hold. We're gonna inhale as we tap the toe, exhale up five times. Good, and press up, shake it out. Maybe a head circle here, just gentle to the right and gentle to the left.
<laughs> the neighbor started to blow. His, he really loves that blower. <sighs> All right. We're going to go back to chair. Yes, I'm obsessed with chair today. Hold chair. Lift that right leg up to the chest. Shoot it back. Lift the, pelt, the torso up and let's just hold crescent. You can shift a little bit here if you want. Just hold, maybe kind of fix your focus where the wall meets the ceiling. You know, I love to let those elbows melt because it just feels so good to release into that vulnerable position, let the arms dangle, and then take them back up and let's come back forward into that long diagonal. Place the left arm on the left thigh and drop the right heel. So now we're in side angle. We're looking under our right armpit. Breathe. If you want, you can take your arms in parallel. You can also just leave that left one on the thigh. Let's rewind. Left arm comes down. Take that heel off the floor. Come back to that lunge, bring the feet together. Stand tall, little shake, little bounce. And we gotta do the other side. Chair, lift that left thigh, shoot it back. Take the torso up, take the torso, take the chest even higher, focus to the ceiling. Breathe in crescent. Elbows melt. And hands back up. Forward on that lunge. Right hand to right thigh. Drop the left heel. Now we're looking under our left armpit. Side angle, opposite side. Stay here or parallel the arms. Rewind. Heel comes off the floor, find that lunge. Bring the feet together and press into the floor. Ooh, yeah. Got some heat in those legs today. Beautiful. All right. Water. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, before we do that, well, let's just have our mat, our straps close to us. I do want to just do a little stretchy forward fold. Let's start with pyramid work into our forward fold. So feet in parallel, toes, toes pointing forward, feet wider than the hips. We're just gonna come forward with a flat back. Hold that flat back. And just cause we're here, let's bend that right knee and twist, tapping the left fingertips on the floor, looking up towards our right fingertips. Come back to flat back, center, and try the other side. Left, twist. So inhale, flat back, exhale, twist. Inhale, flat back, exhale, twist. This is core work. You gotta keep that core engaged through the flat back. Keep working slow and steady, yeah? No rush. Match the movement of your body with the movement of your breath. I'll meet you back in center. And when you're ready, you can come all the way forward. If you need blocks, 
grab them. And you can just let the weight of your torso fall between your legs. Again, try not to lock those knees. I like to kind of wobble a little right and left as I ease into the stretch and then find my center and find my stillness. Let's breathe deeply here. Good. We're going to come out of this with a with a curve of we're going to plie bending the knees deeply and our hands are on the floor or on our blocks. We're gonna lift the torso from the bottom of the spine, belly button, lifting the spine vertebrae by vertebrae as we roll up to standing. Last thing to come up is the head. And then we're gonna do heel toe, heel toe to a parallel position. We're gonna try one forward fold here. So sweep the arms up. Big inhale, and then a nice swan dive through those arms. And again, grab those blocks if you need them. Forward fold. If you want, wag the tail a little bit. You can also shake the knees out one at a time before you settle into a nice dynamic forward fold, whatever that is for you. Sometimes we just need to hang out with our knee, our elbows on our knees. That's okay. Also, if you want, you can use a chair in front of you. It depends on where you're at. We're gonna hang out here just for a bit. So find a nice forward fold that you can hang with. And let's take some deep breaths. Same thing. Coming out of this, we're gonna do a deep plie. We don't have to lift the heels off the floor, but go as deep as you can. And then lift the belly button towards the spine. That's gonna lift your torso up as you straighten your legs. Last thing to come up is the head. All right, I'm ready to do my pranayama and then we're gonna do some standing poses with the strap. So we're gonna take 20 breaths. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, exhale, bringing them through prayer. We've mentioned this in the past. Um, this is your time. You can do a steady rhythmic 20. You can play with your timing, starting slow, getting fast and ending slow, whatever feels right to you. Let your breath guide you. Begin. Three more. Last one, keep those hands up, take, interlace the fingers, send the palms to the ceiling. Walk the right shoulder up the ladder, walk the left shoulder up the ladder, right, left, right, left. Let's see if we can do one more. Right, left, <laughs> and stretch and let those fingers fall. That's great. All right. Working on some stretches. 
And I think you guys can still see me. Just checking that. Grab your strap. Now, you can do regular tree. Um, what I'm going to try and do is do a one legged side, <laughs> one legged <laughs> twist. <laughs> what am I doing? Who am I? I'm taking the strap in my right foot along the bottom of my, uh, the ball of my foot. I'm walking my hands up the strap till it feels like comfortable, but a little bit past where it might be super comfortable. So right here, this is already a great balancing pose. Drop those scapulas down your back, lift the belly. Grab hold of the strap a little closer to the foot. See if you can open up the right hand. And I'm actually close enough to the, to the door. I can use the door. I'm getting a little spinal twist. That's it, standing spinal twist. Thank you, brain finally turned on. Oh yeah, and I just got a nice crack up the spine too. So it's a standing spinal twist. We're looking over that right hand. Good. Bring the focus back to center. That's always hard with balancing poses, is changing your focus. See if you can take that right leg out to the side. See if you can do just a, a leg stand, one leg stand. Put that leg in second position. Woo! And then maybe bring it back to the front and release. Pound it out. Give a little nice little gentle pound, maybe to your back too, again. And then if you were doing tree on the other side, do, if you were doing tree, just do tree on the other side. I'm gonna move forward so I don't have the wall. Left foot in the strap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sometimes our balance on one side is better on the other. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, hey, find your focal point. Stay here. Now your foot, your leg can be down here and that's perfectly valuable. If you have tight hamstrings, your, your leg might be here and that might be plenty. <clears throat> All right, I'm grabbing the strap a little closer to my feet. I'm opening up my left arm and I'm looking back over that arm. Changing focus, bringing the arm back, taking the leg out to the side, holding that space, feeling the expanse. We felt how long we could get at the beginning of class. Now we're feeling how wide we can get. See if you can get that leg a little bit further to the side, further back even, and then bring it back to front and release. Ooh, my standing foot was really gripping there. Maybe let's just do a few little foot presses. Oh, yeah, that feels good. And a couple ankle circles. Good, other side. While we're here, let's do a little Hip stretch, more balancing. Let's come into four. So take your right leg and place it on top of your left knee, not on the knee, above the knee. So we start in this kind of four shape, letter four, letter four, number four, one legged chair. I'm a little giddy. <laughs> Let's find that. Oh yeah, sink a little deeper. And if you sink a little deeper, Lengthen the top of the head away from the pelvis, too. Mm. You can hang out here, or you can see if you can release the torso forward. See about just that change of focus and what that does to your balance. And then if you want, you can grab that 
<laughs> you can grab that leg and stand up and see if you can hold it like a little baby and just do a little rock. This is Amy's like glory pose. She can do this so beautifully. I see you, Amy, rocking that baby. <laughs> All right, shake it out. Let's try the other side. <clears throat> Left leg. Standing leg is bent, knee over the toe. Find the length first. See if you can sink the booty back, but lift the top of the head forward and up. Breathe here. You can hang out here, or you can shift that focus and layer the torso forward over that leg. Still lift the belly button towards the spine. You can stay here, or you can try and grab that leg. Ideally, we're putting the foot into the crux of the elbow. I can't do that. But you know, what is ideal these days? Ideal is working hard and doing our best. So I think I'm fine <laughs> with where my leg is. Ah, good, and release. All right, a little water. Let's do a roll down from the back of our mat. Standing in mountain, lifting the belly, dropping the chin to the chest, letting the shoulders roll forward slowly, articulately, rolling down into a nice forward fold, which should feel like a home base for us since we've already done one. Walk the hands out. And let's come into plank. Good. Now, you can always come into half plank and drop the knees here. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Do what you need to do. If you're in full plank and you want an extra challenge, you can lift the right leg off the floor. And then maybe switch. And let's all drop to the knees. We're gonna do a little series here. We're gonna do a little push up, down to the mat, back up onto our knees, and then into prayer pose. Five of these. Inhale, exhale, and rest. Good. Woo, come back to prayer. Meet you here. And then we're gonna come into all fours and do cat cow. Gotta do our cat cow. Just a few. All right, coming back to neutral, tuck those toes and let's come into down dog. If you need to or want to, you can also come into dolphin with your forearms on the floor. All right. Let's lift that right leg up and swing it through. Drop the left heel on the ground and let's come into warrior two. 
Right heel aligned with the arch of the left foot, right knee, right over the right ankle. We're gonna inhale, reach the right arm up, and exhale, swing that left arm around and over. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Couple more. Come back to warrior two. Find that warrior two. Pinwheel that left arm to the floor, lift the back heel. And you can either stay here in down dog, or you can do a little flow through with a chaturanga or a half chaturanga into cobra and then back into down dog. We're not really doing a full sun salutation, but we can do that little flow. If we feel it, lift that left leg, swing it through, drop the left, the right heel, warrior two, opposite side. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale. Exhale. Meet you in down in the warrior two, and then pinwheel that right arm to the mat. Stay hand in down dog, or you can come to prayer pose, or you can do your chaturanga, your cobra, and your down dog. Good. Let's just drop the knees and let's tuck the toes and sit back on those toes for a minute. Just drop your booty down to your heels. We put so much pressure on our feet. We don't pay a lot of attention to them. It's nice to kind of just stretch them out there. Come back onto all fours and just gently tap the tops of your feet on the mat. Again, just sending that stimulation to the tops of your feet. Good. We're going to do, I put my locks here because we're going to go into camel. If you don't need blocks, do it just by holding onto your ankles. I'm going to put my, the heel of my hands around the edge of the block. Inhale, I'm squeezing the uh, scapulas together, looking at my chest. And then on the exhale, I'm pressing the hips forward and releasing the head back. And recover, good. All right, we are going to do another flow. We're going to start in down dog. We're going to inhale, inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, swing it through into pigeon. Inhale, arch look up. Exhale, release the head down on the floor. Inhale, arch again, tuck that back toe. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, swing it through the pigeon. Inhale, arch. Exhale, release. Inhale, arch. Tuck that back toe. Exhale, down dog. Continue with this timing, or if you want, you can hang out in pigeon, 
for longer. I'm gonna do two flow throughs on each side. All right, Woo. come on down to check the time. Okay, good timing. Ah. All right, I got some heat going on that. Let's come to our backs. And I don't know where my strap was. There it is. Grab your strap. Go ahead and lie down on your back. And then we will put the strap again around the ball of our right foot. And just gently Pulling that right leg towards the chest. Maybe giving a soft plie a couple times. And maybe a couple bot moms, which is just a nice a lengthened leg kick. I have a TheraBand, so it has stretchiness to it. If you have a strap, you might need to hold it a little further away. This is just to kind of loosen up the hip joint, get that mobility. You know, we were so sitting in our chairs all day long, zooming and emailing, switching legs. And a couple of kicks, gentle kicks. Okay, good. Take that strap off. And we're gonna come into a one-legged bridge. So first we start with two legs. So feet, Planted on the ground, close to the booty, hands, palms down by the pelvis. Inhale, exhale, press the hips up into the air. Let's just hang out here for a second. See if you can get those hips a little higher. You can stay here, or if you want, you can take the right leg off the ground and send the heel of the, of the right foot to the ceiling. Breathe. And let's just take a little rest. Let's bring the pelvis all the way down and just hug the knees to the chest for a minute. Going to the other side. And place the feet on the ground. Big deep inhale. Exhale. Press the pelvis here up to the ceiling. Find the length. Like water flowing over those knees. If you want, take the left leg, stamp the ceiling with the heel with the bottom of that left foot. Press into the floor, four big breaths. Beautiful. Slowly bring that leg down 
and release the pelvis. Just let the knees fall to the right and to the left a few times. That should feel really yummy. So we're gonna do some core now. One of my old favorites, haven't done it in a while. You can leave your feet flat on the ground or you can bring them to table or you can take them all the way up and create an L with your body. So the arms go above the head. This is not a big movement. It's really about matching the breath with the pattern. So what we do here is we inhale and then we exhale and reach towards the toes. We're bringing our as high up off the floor as we can. We're gonna inhale and hold this position. And on the exhale, we're gonna send the belly button deep into the spine and reach a little bit higher. And then inhale and release back down to the ground. The legs stay up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, hold. Exhale, higher. Inhale, release. Exhale, reach. Inhale, hold. Exhale, higher. Touch those toes. Inhale, release. Continue in your own time. Now, if you're doing this in table, you can still reach up towards the ceiling. Yeah, don't reach forward, try to reach up. One more. Hold that last crunch for a little longer and release. Good. Ah, let the knees fall back and forth. Good. Let's take the hands to the side of the pelvis, palms down. You can have your feet together bent and just either tap one leg at a time. This is gonna get our lower abs. You can do two legs at a time and tap, or you can straighten the legs and lower and lift. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. You don't have to go all the way to the ground to get a really good lower ab workout. Let's just do eight. Focus on the breath. Good. Let's take the soles of the feet together on the ground, knees just kind of wide open. Take the feet a little bit further away from the pelvis than you initially probably put them there. Take the hands above the head. Inhale, on the exhale, peel your body off the floor to see if you can reach between those legs, come all the way to sitting. And let's see if we can stretch here for a minute, just pulling our forehead to our toes and then coming up nice and tall and then rolling back down vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, arms come up above the head. Let's do two more of these, slow and steady. <laughs> oh, ladies, the body, the body, the body. Ah. Slow, going down with control. Yeah, there's that little spot that sometimes we kind of clunk through and we want to try and control that moment. 
Good, last one coming down nice and slow, vertebrae by vertebrae. Uh, good. Just check how I see the time. Okay, good, we still have time. Let's just do one spinal twist while we're here. Hug the right knee to the chest and then send it across the body. And let's look over our right shoulders with right shoulder with our palms facing the ground. And recover, try the other side. You don't have to get that knee all the way to the ground and you don't have to get the shoulder all the way to the ground, but that's where you're kind of letting, hoping gravity will do the work for you and letting gravity make the stretch. Beautiful, let's come up and lengthen the feet away from the hands. I'd like you to take a deep inhale and hold that inhale. I want you to scrunch your fists and tighten your buttocks and flex your feet and scrunch your face and scrunch your shoulders. Hold that breath, squeeze all the air out and then release. Swallow, stick your tongue out. Say, ah. Hmm. Find yourself into a nice Shavasana. You wanna put a little blanket underneath your spine or Maybe a little block. We're just going to do a silent Shavasana today. No song, no music. Just a nice, deep relaxation. Close your eyes.
Let's take a deep breath together, filling our bellies with air, and then filling our chests. And exhaling it all out. And one more time. Wiggle your fingers and toes and maybe give yourself a little massage on your face, the bridge of your nose, your temples, around your ear, behind your ear, in front of your ear, along the jaw. You just let your head roll back and forth from left to right a few times. Then roll into one side like you do in the morning when you first wake up. Go slow. And then using that hand in front of you, come into sitting. And coming to a cross-legged position, easy, comfortable, hands on your knees. We'll just close our eyes for a minute. And when you're ready, you can bring your hands to prayer. This position, the palms together, this is, you know, this is an archetypal symbol, the prayer position. We all pray in our own ways. We all find the spirit and find the soul of our universe in our own ways. But this position means so much, the bringing together two halves into the center, the heart center. The closing, the hoping, the focusing, the energy between the two hands, the heat there resonating between the two hands, and then also the heat resonating from your chest into your hands. We'll seal today's practice with just acknowledgement of that heat the love light, the soul light, the spirit light. Namaste. Namaste.